How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. We're back uh, with another video. We're going to start putting the handle on the knife. Now, this is the second knife uh, that I made. So, and I know it's not perfect, but um, we're going to put the handle on it today. We're going to be working on the handle. And uh, I found what I think might make a good piece of wood for a handle. So, we're going to go ahead and cut this piece of wood up and see if we can get... I'm going to try to use the core out of this if I can. Uh, it's a good hard wood. I don't know exactly what kind it is, but uh, it's definitely hard wood. I don't know if it's elm or what it is, but we're going to use it. It's free and we're going to use it. It's a piece of firewood. So let's. Uh, what we're going to do first thing is chop this thing up about the length that we need, and then we're going to cut it into a square, and then we'll sand a block and we'll get it cut up for the handle. We'll see how it goes. Well, <clears throat> there's what we got it down to now. And <clears throat> I think I'm going to cut off of this side and take two pieces off of this side. We're going to take this to the belt sander. I did all the sides on the belt sander, well, besides these two here. I'm going to sand them up before I uh, finish cutting it. So we'll go ahead and get it sanded up and then we'll cut off of... I think I'll cut off of this side because that's going to get me close to that, that core. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it or not, but that's the way I'm doing it. And this wood does look like oak. It looks like oak to me. kind of smells like it too, so... We're going to get it on the belt sander and then we're going to chop it in half. All right, we got this marked where we're going to cut it in half now. So we're going to go ahead and cut it. And that's going to give us part of that core. So I don't know if it makes a difference, but that's what we're going to cut. I'm almost positive these are oak, uh, so we're going to have an oak handle, I'm almost positive. We got two pieces here, they're both the same thickness, and they all come out of that hunk of wood. So it didn't cost us anything, and I think they're going to be a nice looking handle. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to get my holes drilled. I did go pick up some brass pins. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get the holes drilled in this, and I do believe they call that the tang. I'm going to get the holes drilled and uh, get these uh, mounted on and get them glued up tonight. Hopefully. Now, we got our two pieces of wood here. I wish I could ask you guys a question. How many of these pins and what size should I use in there? So, if you watch the video, I'm going to use the 3 16 I got 3 16 and I got 8 inch dowel. They're both brass. <clears throat> so, I think I'm going to use the 3 16 And should I put 2 in there, 3 in there, or 4 in there? So, I'm going to, I'm going to do 1 in the front and 1 in the back. And then I hope that will be enough. So... Like I said, this is only the second knife I've made, so I'm not positive on how I'm supposed to do this. So I'm going to put one in the front and one in the back, and I'm hoping that'll be enough. That spray is called an easy spray. It's easy cut lube, and uh, being that this is a leaf spring, and these bits are super good bits, so at least they're supposed to. They're very expensive. I'm going to drill this at an eighth inch first, and then I'll drill it to three sixteenths. It's our three sixteenth bit now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces of this about an inch and a quarter each. I 
I should cut them just a little bit longer. I don't think it's going to hurt. What I'll do now so I'll just go take the burrs off of them and straighten them up a little bit. I think that looks a little better. Got them rounded off a little bit. They should go right down in there pretty nice. Okay, I got a T marked on there for the top. And I got a B marked on there for the bottom. So I can line these up on here. And uh, I'm going to duct. I'm just going to use some black tape. And tape this thing on. And then I'll drill them holes where I want it okay so that's set up where we want it there and we're gonna go ahead and drill both these holes Just to make sure that doesn't come on a line, I'm going to go ahead and tap my pin down in there. That way it won't get, it should stay lined up now. So now we got these two drilled on that side. Now we got to do the other one. Now we just switched it to the top side. Now we're going to drill the top side. We put our pin down in there. Make sure it's good and lined up. Now we'll drill our other one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dry fit these together and see how it works. Well, <clears throat> we got it all on there. It's crooked as a dog's hind leg, but it's covering all the metal up. So we're not going to, I think it'll be fine once we glue it together. We could grind all that off and shave that all down. And uh, I'm sure that's going to make a decent handle. Hopefully, should be all right. The only thing is, is where that center was, right here, right where that center Right here, it's got a little groove going down the center of it, but yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Maybe it'll give it a little character, but that's what we got so far. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix up some epoxy and get this thing in the vise, get it glued and get it clamped together. I might take this, take this back apart and sand this side over here real good. After I'll clamp them together. And sand that side over there. That way I won't have to do too much sanding too close to my blade. I'll try that. Okay, we went ahead and sanded this front up here. We sanded that part up there. And we cut the edges off. And it, it ain't going to matter because it's still got to go down a good bit. So, we're going to go ahead and get this thing glued up and put in a vise. That way it can be drying. Okay, I'm just going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to try to clean the blade up a little bit just in case it's still got a little bit of oil from where we drilled the holes. I'll make sure all that oil's off of there. I'm sure it's pretty rough. <laughs> it's pretty rough. And uh, I'm going to wipe our pins off. 
we had them going in the holes, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Now, I don't know if I have the right glue, but I think it'll do. It's a uh, just a Gorilla Glue epoxy clear. It's a two part. Two part mixture. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze. Try to make sure we got enough. It should be way more than enough, hopefully. And I'm just going to use a screwdriver. You don't have to use a screwdriver. <clears throat> get it mixed up as best we can we're going to put a layer of this on this side and we're going to flip this knife over I'm going to put a layer on this side. And we're going to lay this down on here and get our pins lined up. Probably wouldn't hurt to put some even on the pins. Get that one. We're going to take the rest of it and do a layer on our board. Do a layer on our metal. Hopefully we got plenty on there. I think we will. Then we're going to take it over there and we're going to clamp it in a vise. Which... <clears throat> Should probably have a wooden hammer. Actually I could use this side. Split the difference in them pins there. Then I'm going to take it over to the vise and get it clamped in a vise. But I'm going to use a couple pieces of tuba for it clamping in, be in between because my vise doesn't have wooden jaws. So probably wouldn't be a bad thing to invest in a set of wooden jaws. So I'm going to go ahead and get this clamped up. What I've done here is I just clamped it in there and I let the pins go into this piece of wood and into this piece of wood. Gave her a good tight, she's clamped on there really tight. I don't, can't get it any tighter, unless I put a pipe on it. Give her a little crank there. All right, that's super tight. So we'll come out here tomorrow, take it out, 
we'll start sanding down the handle and see what we got. So it's been 24 hours and we got us a handle, I think. So we're going to go ahead and take it to the grinder and we're going to start grinding all the uh, wood down and these pegs. Taking shape. We ground all the way around the edge to where we got to the metal. Now I'm going to face this. I'm going to take it on the sander and sand it down like this. Because I think it's just a bit too thick. I started sanding on one side. I got one side smaller than the other right now. But I'm going to go ahead and start it on this side and try to get it down a little thinner. Well, that's what we got so far, and it don't look too bad. Actually, that seam that went through the middle actually sanded out of there. Uh, I thought it was going to be exposed, but we do have a nice little knot right here that'll be exposed. Uh, I'm going to set and hand sand this. Now, the blade, as you can see, it looks a little better than when I made the knife. I don't have any real fine sandpaper for the belt sander, so I've been hand sanding it. It's not the best. But when we get it done, we'll buff it out. I know we're going to see some marks in it, but being that it's a second knife, I think it's turning out okay. One thing I would love to have changed on this knife is right here. I wish I'd have had that wood come up a little bit further. And instead of being in the angle the way it is in the other angle with the blade. So my next one, I'll try to fix that. So... What I'm going to do is just sit down here and I'm going to sand on this thing. I'm going to try to get it round the edges off real nice. Just take my time and sand on it. So that's what I'm going to do for a little while. And I'm not going to... I'll spare you guys. <clears throat> so you don't have to sit here and watch me sand for a long time. As you can see, I just rounded the edge off makes a big difference in the knife you can see this here how rough it is and then I'm just taking my time sitting here sanding away it's looking better I'll use a 100 I think this is a 100 sandpaper and then I'll use a much finer sandpaper I got a 220 there and I think I even got a finer I'll probably use over it takes a little time to make these knives, but <clears throat> I think if you take pride in your work and do a good job, I think they turn out pretty decent. Alright, the only thing I got left to do is to, I'm going to buff this out and sharpen it up. And uh, I'm going to put a coat of clear, a polyurethane clear on the handle. And when I get all that done, I'll uh, let you check out the knife when it's all done. Well guys, this is what we started out with. A piece of leaf spring, we cut it in half, threw it in a forge, and we made a knife. And then, I took an old log, piece of firewood, cut the end off of it, took it to the saw, cut it up, and made a handle. And this is the knife that I made. Uh, I'm going to give you a nice close up. I know it's not perfect, but it's my second knife. I'm not going to complain. I think it looks fairly nice. And one thing I might want to learn is to put an edge. This has a pretty good edge. I can't shave with it. Well, maybe I can. Now, well, yeah, I guess I can. Um, but I'm going to give you a close-up of the knife and show you what it looks like. We did the handle. We got some oak that turned out... Actually, I think everything turned out really nice. Uh, for, like I said, my second knife. Um, I took it on the buffing wheel and buffed it out. I did a lot of hand sanding because I didn't have any really fine belts for my sander. So, uh, as you can see, how? As you can see, uh, the knot is still in there, which I like. I put my two pins in there. The blade still has some little scratches in there, but I think if I would have got some finer sandpaper, I would have been able to take them out uh, on the, the sander. 
Uh, still has the marks down in here. You can see where it was forged and some here on the back, which that's okay too. I like that. But uh, you can see the knife turned out actually really nice uh, for, like I said, the second one. Now, I hand, I put that bevel on there by hand. Uh, I really didn't know they made jigs for that, but for 20 years I sharpened lawnmower blades. And I know that's not perfect, but it's pretty close for doing it by hand without a jig. So I may do my next knife and try to use a jig. So I think it turned out pretty good. You know, it's really something how you can take nothing and make something out of it. Who would have thought you could take a, a leaf spring and a log and make a knife? Which is cool. I like to make things out of... Uh, Stuff that people throw it away. But, uh, hey, I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. I really enjoy the comments because I learn a lot from them, so give me a comment or something. Till next time.